Welcome to a brand new video, everybody. My name is Michael. I'm from theloftestparty.com. I'm fired up for this one. I'm excited. We're talking about systemic racism. Yeah, at first I was a little hesitant. I was a little nervous. I'm like, should I be jumping in on this? Because come on, look at me. I wear glasses. That's a joke. If we don't laugh, we'll cry. Here's what put me over the edge. Joe Biden, this headline. Joe's like, uh, no one can stay silent on systemic racism. Okay, Joe, okay, here we go. That's a green light. That's pedal to the metal. Let's go, let's go. Systemic racism. Now for that to work, you need a system, right? You need a system. Who built the system? That's the question you should be asking. That's the one I'm asking. Who built the system? Who maintained the system? Who keeps it going? All that good stuff. Now, it's got to be somebody pretty high up there. It can't be a low level. We're not talking about like, like mayors and city councils and stuff. We're talking about a systemic, a system. We're talking about D.C. And it's been around for a long time, right? A long, long time. So it's got to be someone who's been in D.C. for a long time. So immediately, that takes Trump off the list of suspects. That takes him right out. It drives me crazy. You see these people out there in these marches like, we got to stop Trump and the systematic racism. Trump is... <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just got there, fool. He just got there. He wasn't in politics before this. He wasn't making laws. He was building buildings. He just came, became president like it feels like a couple days ago. So who's been in D.C. for a long time? Who built the system? Uh, Nancy Pelosi, she's been around for a good long time. Chuck Schumer, he's been around for a good long time. But here's the ultimate irony. Who's been around a really long time and who really helped build the system? Joe Biden himself. Yeah, look at this guy's track record. It's almost funny that people are marching in the street saying, I gotta vote for Joe Biden. We gotta stop Trump. Look at Biden's record. He is the poster child for the system that needs to be changed. He is the guy, and he was the guy who opposed busing. He was the guy that didn't think George Bush's dad, yeah, George Bush won, the guy the read my lips. Yeah, he didn't think he went far enough. George Bush's dad wanted to do a big, uh, let's get tough on drugs and let's get, you know, get tough on these criminals. And Biden's like, he didn't go far enough. I want to go farther. I want to go farther. I really want to lock people up. He got his chance and he did it. In the 1994 Clinton crime bill, Biden was bragging. He loved it. That's a signature piece of legislation. How do you think these prisons filled up? How do you think they filled up? It was from that crime bill. It was from Joe Biden bragging about, yeah, mandatory sentencing. This is the one that gave you the stuff like, if you get busted with cocaine, slap on the wrist. But if you get busted with crack, oh, mandatory, mandatory. He was proud of it. That's how the prisons got full. And he's like, we gotta, we can't stay silent. We gotta stop Trump. Trump had nothing to do with this. He just got there, and from day one, all he's been trying to do is clean up the mess that Joe Biden made. Yeah, who did the first step act? That was Donald Trump. One of the first things he did, he's like, why are these prisons so full? These are horrible mandatory sentences. Let's get those people out and give them a second chance to rejoin society. That's awesome. Who did the opportunity zones? That was Trump getting money to the bad neighborhoods so people can, can start their own businesses and, and minority-owned small businesses can thrive because they now have capital. That was Trump. These people are marching against Trump when he's the guy that's been doing something. The lowest unemployment for minorities. It goes on and on. And now you've got people in the streets like, we got to get Joe Biden in there. We got to get Joe Biden in there. That is like sending a diabetic to a candy shop. You want Joe Biden back in charge? Who built the system? Creepy Uncle Joe did.